It's 10.30 in the morning and we are heading to the Rila Monastery in the Rila Mountain Range. Uh, it's a beautiful monastery with lots of beautiful frescoes, so we're super excited. So, let's go. Yeah. difference a day can make though in terms of weather it's pretty incredible it's beautiful it's sunny no well there's some clouds but not as many as yesterday. very very minor yeah good morning everybody we are here at the rila monastery we're gonna try to go in see all the beautiful sites all the beautiful frescoes so let's go in So this monastery was founded in 10th century. This bell tower is actually the oldest part of the monastery. And as we walk through this monastery, you can't help but feel the sense of tranquility. It is so nice here. It is super quiet. And you can kind of explore at your own pace. I think next we're gonna walk into the bell tower and see if we can walk up. This is kind of the way up. Okay. And just up here? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is indeed quite narrow. <laughs> oh my god. We are going up. Forward, we're in the spooky era of this vlog. Spooky. Spooky. Spooky vlog. <laughs> I can only imagine what that is. There's just like a hole on a seat. I have to guess that's a toilet. Like what else could that really be? Look at look at how like it looks like a seat. But that's not a toilet. I give up. These stair steps just get like like higher and higher. I feel like I have to like do high knees in order to get up here. Those are getting larger. So you can see out more and more as you get closer to the top. Mm. And that's really nice because uh, if you come and look over here, you can see more of the green background in the distance. best at walking in uh, castles or like narrow spaces. No. Yeah. I'm gonna watch our other vlog where I fell into the Bratislava castle <sighs> and hurt myself. Okay. <laughs> My entire hope this time is to not fall down. And that was it for the bell tower. So let's go check out some frescoes in the main building. Their oh, they're outside. I thought they were inside the building, but they're actually outside. That's so cool. So these frescoes depict lots of stories, including the life of Christ, as well as medieval Bulgarian life.
Did you love this place? Or do you like this place? This is a love. They say breathtaking in the description of it. It is actually breathtaking. that's pretty famous here. It depicts the cycle of life and in Eastern Orthodox Christianity uh, they actually believe in the process and cycle of rebirth. That um, cycle of life fresco kind of depicts that that belief set. Yeah go ahead. Why not? Unfortunately no cameras in there so no camcorders, no cameras, no Nokia phones. So unfortunately, we can't show you the inside. You're not allowed to record or take pictures. If you imagine these frescoes times a million plus a lot of gold, that's exactly what it's like. And I think now we're just gonna walk uh, around the rest of the monastery and uh, kind of look at like what all this housing is all about. There's a lot of, a lot of rooms up here, so. It's so cold. Looks like they even have their own post office. Okay, come over here and send your letters or postcards. Alice, if you're watching this, we're sending you a postcard from Buddha Monastery. Hi! Oh, Alice. For those of you who don't know, Alice is our niece. I promised to send her some postcards from different countries we visit. Yeah, I hope you get it. Sent. All right, so I've heard uh, there's some sort of a uh, monastery bread that you can eat here, and it's apparently the best. So we're going to try to go search for that. Yeah. I think it's over by where we parked, so we're going to head back there and try to find it. Find the bread. It's so cheap, it's only one left. Guys, we're almost there. Almost. Okay, I think it's our turn. We're here. Two of the Makitsa and uh, one yogurt drink. Oh, man. Thank you. Yogurt drink. Sorry, I have to correct myself. We're gonna try the Mikitsa, not the monastery bread. Is that it? It's a lot. So it's deep fried. So it's very rich in butter or whatever. It's not sweet. There's no sweetness to it. In fact, it might be a little salty. Is it focusing? I think so. Yeah. So, I like it. People drink it with this thing, which is the yogurt drink. So I'm gonna try the yogurt drink now. Oh, okay. This is like Indian lassi. <laughs> it's like a lassi. It's like lassi that's not mango salty? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. It tastes like ocean water to me. <laughs> it's so refreshing, it's refreshing. Refreshing is one word for it. I think we're gonna head out. I think we have to um, drive two hours to Sofia today and then we're flying to our country number five, which is. Should we come? Country number five is. Okay, I think I told them. So.